When we get the order, check if all the accessories are there. Then we take out these two letters, remove needle and thread, overlap the two letters, so that all the holes are in the same place. Measure a thread four times, the circumference of the top letter. We first measure the length of the four sides, then take the same length of thread three more times, so we get four times the length of the thread. These are the ends of the thread. Thread the needle first. Then insert the needle into the middle of the thread. And pull down one end of the long thread to fix the thread. Fasten the needle and thread in the same way at the other end. Thread the needle and thread on the other end in the same way. Take the first needle and start stitching from the first hole aligned. Lengthen the needle at both ends through the hole. Until the thread at both ends is the same length. Start stitching or overlapping holes with the first stitch first. Take care to ensure that all holes are stitched with the holes in the bottom. Once all the holes are sewn, we need to sew two stitches back again to make sure the thread stays on the back of the ladder. Then we can start stitching with the second thread. Make sure all the blank spaces are sewn with our white thread. Once all the pieces are sewn, we need to sew two stitches back again. To make sure the thread stays on the back of the ladder. Cut the redundant threads. Use a lighter to burn short the ends of the thread. Press and play a fix row all. Then we take out these two letters. Place the side of the hole further from the edge facing up. Sew these three areas together. So we need to measure three times this length of thread. Take out three more pieces of the length just measured. And we can get four times the length of the thread. Thread the two sides of needle and thread in the same way as before. Thread the needle into the middle of the thread. Pull the long end thread to fix them. And thread the other side end in the same way. Thread the first needle into the two holes. 
stretch the thread so that the needle thread at both ends is the same length. Take one of the needles and start sewing. After one side is finished, then we can start stitching with the second thread. Make sure all the blank spaces are sewn with our white thread. Once all the pieces are sewn, we need to sew two stitches forward again to make sure the thread stays on the back of the ladder. Cut off the excess thread, burn it with a lighter, and press to fix it. Then we find this ladder. Align the holes of the two pieces of ladder to sew this area. We need to cut out this length four times the length of the thread. Thread the ends of the two needles in the same way as before, and start stitching. That here we need to stitch from the second hole. The first hole on each side of the ladder does not need to be stitched. Continue to sew. Keep stitch these parts. Remember to start stitching at the penultimate hose. Then start stitching on the other side. Then we take out these two accessories, inner bag, and zipper, remove two sides of the tape, stick the zipper on the tape, and adjust it. We gonna to sew the inner bag and zipper. Measure the thread seven times the length of the line of the zipper. Thread the needles at both ends of the thread on both sides. And start stitching. There is no hole on the back of the zipper. So we need to find a hole to sew by filling.
Then we find these letters. Take these three. So the overlapping parts of the letter. Take twice the length of the thread. So the overlapping parts in the same way as before. So the other side in the same way. The other three pieces are sewn in the same way. Then we take out these two parts. Measure for times thread of the length. Take the piece of leather and stitch the sides of the two pieces of leather together. Measure the length of this part four times. First, measure the length of the leather and then take three more segments according to the same length. Then we can get four times the length of the thread. Thread the needle and thread in the same way as before. When we go through the first stitch, we need to thread the needle up and round the top of the ladder for an overlock. Then start sewing. So all these whole parts. Remember that the last stitch needs to be overlocked as in the first step. Find the inner bed we sewed earlier. Sew all three pieces of leather together. Measure the thread five times the length of these three sides. Make sure all the holes are aligned with the suture. Sew up one stitch for overlock.
The last stitch is stitched up one stitch. Overlock. Then start another stitch. Then take out the piece that was sewn up earlier. Then we stitch the two pieces of leather. Measure four times the thread length of the outer circumference of the leather. Start stitching. Note that we need to start stitching from the fourth hole. Make sure all these parts are sewn with thread. After completing the previous step, we found these two buckles. We can see that there are two invisible holes. Snap this buckle into the hole. Then we press the metal buckle inside to fix it. Then we took out another bed buckle and take out the screwdriver in the accessories. Unscrew the screws on the back of the buckle. We put the front metal buckle on the front of the bed. Another metal buckle is placed on the back. Tighten the screw you just removed to secure it. Find these two buckles for PCS pointed screws. Fasten the buckle to the sides of the back. Secure it with a point screw. Find the handle of the bag. Two metal buckles and two flat head screws. Fasten metal buckles on both ends of the back handle.
We can see that there are two holes above the bed. Put two flat head screws into the holes. Fasten the handle of the bed with the screws. Find these four buckles and the two shoulder straps. Then find these two pieces of leather. First take the short shoulder straps and find this metal buckle. Put one end of the shoulder strap into this metal buckle. Fold the shoulder straps in half so that both sides are the same length. Then take out a piece of leather and a buckle. Tuck the leather into the buckle and fold it in half. Then put it on the two ends of the shoulder strap to stitch. Measure four times the length of the shoulder strap. Sew the thread in the same way. Take out the long shoulder strap. Find this metal buckle. Through the buckle, leaving part of the shoulder strap on the back. Take a piece of thread and sew the short shoulder strap on the back to the shoulder strap on the front. Take out the short shoulder straps you just sewed. Sort the other end of the long shoulder strap into the buckle of the short shoulder strap. Then put it back into the buckle of the long shoulder strap. So we can get an adjustable shoulder strap. Take out another leather and buckle. Sew it to the tail of the long shoulder strap. Find the pony of these two leather. Wrap four times the length of thread round the pony.
Be careful not to sew thread into this large hole. We don't finish sewing the pony. Leave a small opening where we can fill in the cotton and continue stitching. Take a portion of the cotton and stuff it into the pony to fill it up. Then proceed to stitch the pony. Find this metal short chain. Then fix it on the back handle. The last step is to find a scarf and tie it into a bow on the handle of the bag. Finally, we have finished making the bag.